So the Fed hiked 75 basis points. And while you don't understand how that's going to directly impact you, I want you to understand what we are actually fighting against. So you know last month or just this most recent month, inflation came out at 8.6%. That's just about one per hundredth of a percent basis point high from the 8.5 in April. And I'm sorry, in March. So what the Fed is really after is they're looking two to three years out to try to bring that inflation number down to about 2% average. And when things start to go out of whack that they can't control, that's when more aggressive action is done on the front end. So what are things that we anticipate happen? Well, right now, consumer spending has and confidence has not decreased. And so the, all the signs and factors are still that there's a strong economy going on. But Jerome Powell and the Fed acknowledge that there are many factors beyond their control that are starting to play in which they can't really predict true outcomes. And that's why this is important for your personal finance, because you need to understand that these rising gas prices, these housing, these groceries, all these different things are more related to supply and the Fed can't control that. They are trying to tighten and make sure they use at their disposal the monetary tools that we have to keep things in line. But in that process, the, with unemployment being below 4%, and the ideal spot is to get it to 4%. Not, it obviously doesn't want to lose job, but what he's trying to do is stop the aggressive nature of the wage warfare that's going on in the job market right now. That, I'm going to have to do a total different video on that piece because that's a that's a, a word, is it? A vibe? Ah, I got to learn my lingo. Needless to say, so... With this recent rate hike, you have to understand that the housing market, which is the biggest piece of this, yeah, your savings account rates, that's going to go up. But if you're a new buyer trying to get into the market, it's going to be a tough call because even the Fed said with likely you're going to see prices rise over the next couple of years before inventory and the supply issue and rates come together to create a spot for those first time home buyers. So, do you remember back a couple months ago when they said this is the best time to buy? This is what that means. This is what you have to do is be vigilant in your uh, finances and one, look at your income, look at your expenses. Are you making enough? Do you have space in the month to have extra money? If not, now is the time to look for another job. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts.